everyone. Uh, it's so, so fantastic to have a lot of people from different countries that join us for the Climate Justice Summer School in Nairobi. And I'm going to be sharing some of the experience during and what they want to see after the Climate uh, Justice Summer School in Nairobi. It was so educative, a lot of great uh, facilitators, lecturers, and special thanks to uh, Pagja for doing this for the young people across Africa. Join me on this very wonderful journey as we hear from passionate delegates that want to take climate justice and we want to take uh, action in making sure that we take back our economy for better and to build forward better. Thank you. My name is Nasina Saim. I'm from Sudan. I'm here in Nairobi to attend um, the Nairobi Summer School for Climate Justice as a resource person. The Nairobi Summer School for Climate Justice is a unique opportunity for young people to build their capacities and learn the technicalities of climate change and climate justice. Well, young people, of course, need capacity building to be able to take uh, their work to the next level and to be able to work effectively in their communities. That's why um, the school is a very unique opportunity to build this capacity and to share the knowledge and of course for making networking between young people. Thank you very much and... Hello, my name is Francisco, I'm from Costa Rica and I'm here in this Nairobi Summer School on Climate Justice in order to learn from these African fellows and to bring all the, this knowledge and this experience to my country to help my people and to um, and to tell the governments to take actions in terms of climate justice. And in the next COP, I really want to bring all these voices, the youth voices in terms of climate justice at the negotiations. Muy buenos días, mi nombre es Glenda Lozada, soy maestra en la Escuela Segunda Unidad Adolfo García de Naranjito y actualmente parte de la eh, Academia de Nairobi Summer School rela relacionada con cambio climático y justicia social. Para mí es un placer poder participar, he tenido unas experiencias muy significativas las cuales podré compartir con mis estudiantes e inspirarlos para promover la justicia, la equidad, la diversidad y la inclusión. Un placer formar parte de esta academia. Gracias. Hello everyone, my name is Mary Mary Samkandawire and I am from Malawi and I'm here at the Nairobi Summer School of Climate Justice. Back home I am a young climate leader under the Malawi School and Partnership and I'm also a member of Green Girls Platform. So as a young leader I am very excited to meet other people and learn from all over Africa what the experience about climate justice is all about and also learn about climate justice in general. Thank you. Hi, it's Sami Said from Sudan. I am energy engineer with main interest in energy socioeconomic policy and finance. And now I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, attending a climate just summer school. Uh, so, so far until now, uh, I'm fascinating actually with, uh, with the diversity of this uh, summer school with the young African leaders from more than 40 countries uh, here in Africa and even around Africa. So yeah, what I like the most about this summary school is that how, how it, how it connects the, uh, the, the activists and those, those people who advocate for energy justice, final, energy justice and climate uh, justice and energy poverty with the geopolitical uh, situation of the African continent. And I guess uh, this summary school will not just end here because we are we the people here are just networking with each other they are making new friendship new it's it's totally new environment so i guess after the end of this summer school we might see a lot of projects across the continent thank you so much and you have heard about this accreditation for the DCF and then John Paul talks about the accreditation process of self DCF board meeting. You have to understand the difference here. Uh, I'm on slide 20. Hello, my name is Inonge Sakala and I'm coming from an organization called Action Aid Zambia, 
which is based in Zambia. So basically my experience here at the Climate Justice Summer School under PACJA has been very insightful, especially towards my work in civil society organizations. So one of the topics that actually caught my attention was the issue of climate financing and how most countries need to be able to benefit from the money that is coming in from the north towards mitigation and adaptation to climate change. So one situation that I think is really key for civil society organizations is monitoring how this fund is actually being utilized and also how government is also sharing this money with those from the bottom to the to the top so yeah that was basically my experience and i'm also willing to continue to learn more until the climate justice summer school finishes thank you good morning my name is Anton C from cameroon and i work with the association called uh, abiojet I'm a project facilitator. So what I've learned from the Nairobi Summer School, what really strikes me is the climate litigation, which are um, legal actions take, um, taken to combat climate change. And what I encourage youth to do is that they should be able to master their country's environmental policy and laws on climate change in order to be able to take legal actions. Thank you. Hello, my name is Daisy Wangombe from Kenya. I'm an attendee at the School of Climate Justice in Nairobi. Climate justice has impacted my life in that I have come to understand how gender inequality and climate justice has affected women and children. Children don't really have to suffer the effects of um, climate justice, injustices that have been going on, and women are the most affected dis by climate injustices. They have already experienced inequalities in their life and climate injustice is just adding salt to injury because they are the kind of people who will go looking for firewood and food and uh, water when it comes down to drought and lack of food. So this climate justice school has impacted me in that I can be able to spread awareness when it comes to gender inequality and climate justice. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Mary Snyder from Kenya and I've been attending the summer school or I'm attending the summer school in Nairobi 2021 here in KU and I have learned a lot, I've networked with people from different African countries and personally I specialize on water and now I'm doing SDG 661 which is ecosystem and freshwater and just to say it is important for young people all over Africa let's unite together and make sure that we take care of our motherland climate change climate justice this is something that is affecting all of us so as young people my call is let's come i'm cheering you on guys to let's come together and make sure that we take care of what god has given unto us and i'm sure we're going to have you know to be able to take care of what we have god bless you and ciao my name is diana ouma i'm from kenya i work for the horn of africa youth network as a program coordinator since the nairobi summer school of climate justice started i've learned so many things being able to network with different people from different countries, getting to share what everyone is doing, every young person in the continent, and also being able to understand the issues of MEAs, networking, how best we could leverage and campaign and push for our advocacy agenda on climate justice. Thank you. I don't have any friends here, by the way. In the Indian signs of Yes. Nairobi City? Yes, Iten Nairobi. We are live from Karura Forest. We're here to go excursion. Yeah. 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 It's a very beautiful place, it's a natural forest. Actually, this place teaches us a lot. It teaches us that we can not only survive from planting trees, but we should also conserve our natural forests. 
if we rely on only on planting trees, we should not rely on only planting trees. We should also conserve the natural forests we have. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Adiz Abdurafi Mohammed from Ghana, and I'm the Karura Forest in Nairobi. Well, this forest is a historical place, and it has so many trees. It was first established by a woman, and through her activism, they killed her because she wanted to preserve this place. And we've, we came here to plant a tree in memory of her. So I urge all environmentalists to try and also fight for us to have a very uh, climate, a very good climate and then good environment. And I encourage everyone to come to Nairobi. <laughs> My name is Jumoke Odediji from Nigeria. I'm inside the um, Karura Forest and um, I love the nature. I love the trees. I love um, the um, fresh breath. Yeah, I can feel that on my skin. I breathe um, fresh air and um, everything is all enabled through the tree. So I want to encourage tree planting. When you get back to where you are going, make sure you plant a tree to save um, the mother earth. Thank you. Coco, je suis Cynthia Kwaku de la Côte d'Ivoire et là je suis au Kenya dans le cadre de l'école d'été inaugurale de Nairobi. Là nous sommes dans la forêt de Karura. Il fait très bon vivre, l'air est glacé. Sérieusement, c'est un paradis. Ça n'a pas de nom. Vraiment, euh, je, je crois que le Kenya est un exemple en termes de, de, de foresterie, en termes de planting d'arbres et tout, tout, tout. Et pour. Euh, pour Nous avons euh, planté un arbre pour vraiment immortaliser notre présence. Merci. The message I want to send to all activists from different countries worldwide is that they should never be silent because silent kills. When there is something wrong, it is good for any activist to rise up and stand for the rights. That is the only way that we can deliver our countries in Africa and in the whole world. Thank you so much. I am so happy today because this is an historical moment for me to be in Karura Forest in Kenya. And as we always talk about tree planting, I was able to understand that it's not about tree planting, but it's about tree growing. So I'm challenging you, all my environmental activists, that we should start growing trees, not only planting trees. Thanks to Wangari Matai for making this forest a nature park forest for people and for taking steps to make sure that environment is more sustainable for everybody. Thank you. My name is Sylvia Washira. I'm the coordinator for the Nairobi Summer School on Climate Justice, being held here in Ken at Kenyatta University Conference Center, Nairobi, Kenya. I'm super delighted, super delighted and excited to be hosting lots of international guests from all over the world, from Latin America, uh, Asia, Europe, and the whole of Africa in this place. We have guests, guests, uh, we have participants here on uh, physical participants from Colombia, Costa Rica, Puerto Rica, Asia, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia. And also online we have other countries represented such as Brazil, Argentina and other countries in the world. And there are super exciting activities happening here. The participants are also drawn from, we have scholars, we have scholars, we have PhD students, master students, we have farmers, we have local based grassroots community activists. We are, the activities that are happening here are very exciting. We have interactive lectures, we have group walks, we have field trips. Recently we visited uh, the forest to honor activists that have fought for, have fought and have sacrificed their lives to fight for climate justice for our resources, natural resources for the future generations. So I, I invite you all of you and I ask you to watch out for the next uh, summer school that is on climate justice that is going to happen soon, next year. Thank you.